Scammers targeting EBT cards and using fake devices at grocery stores to steal from low-income families trying to put food on their table. It's something California officials have been catching criminals doing right on camera recently, and the Nevada Welfare Department tells us the same tactics are impacting families right here in Nevada. Mike Allen joins us now to share what he learned today. Mike. Yeah, John, so families are having to put off going to the supermarket altogether until they get their benefits reloaded on their card. This after their SNAP benefits are stolen by criminals. And they're having to wait days in order to get those benefits reloaded because of the sheer amount of this type of crime happening right now in Nevada. Last week, we talked with Anthony, a father of three, who had his entire balance on his electronic benefits card for the month of April drained, saved for $6. On Wednesday of this week, his card was refilled, but for nine days, he had to worry about how he was going to feed his kids. Thankfully, family pulled through, so it wasn't as horrible as I was expecting it to be, but, it, you know, it was still a struggle. It was still, like, bare minimums, and, you know, me and wife skipping meals, He's not the only victim of this kind of crime here in Nevada lately. In July, the state gained approval from the federal government to start replacing stolen benefits. And since then, Nevada has averaged about 200 claims a month. But just in the first 10 days of April, there have been 1,500 claims, with more still coming in. These thieves are actually placing like a skimming device on the credit card machine at a retailer. This is happening as a rash of similar crimes is happening in California. This is video of skimmers being put on point of sale machines in grocery stores in California. The El Cajon Police Department recently sent out a warning about it. When they come in, uh, they put it in with a matter of seconds and when they take it, they also do the same. Marnie Whalen from the Nevada Division of Welfare and Supportive Services says once the device is put in place, fraudsters can steal the information of EBT cards that get swiped. When somebody uses their EBT card there, their information is skimmed and then replicated somehow and made into another um, cloned card. They could produce an actual physical card or they could just be storing the information and processing it that way online. The state has not identified the specific retailers where this is happening, but it's part of an ongoing investigation. Whalen says most of the time it takes 10 to 30 days to replenish the cards that have been drained by thieves. Anthony hopes everyone gets their card refilled in less time than that, like he did. It was like we just won, you know, you, like we just won something. Everybody jumped up and we ran to 7-Eleven and got some snacks and drinks. So no other family has to suffer because of welfare thieves. It's really nice to be able to actually go shopping and not have to worry about what I'm feeding them for dinner tonight instead. Waylon tells me the team in charge of investigating this kind of crime needs more resources in order to handle it and also in order to get these benefits reloaded in a timely manner. Reporting live tonight, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Waylon also adds these crimes tend to happen at the beginning of the month when people are expecting their benefits to come in. Anyone who is impacted can find resources on Nevada211.org.